All right, so we're a little bit late. It's Sunday. I know the videos normally drop on about noon on Sundays, but I got about halfway to Tater Town with a friend of mine and his buddy, and shit didn't happen. So here I am down at my brother's house. He finally got his uh, soft tail gasket issue fixed, so he's no longer pissing oil every time the bike runs. So now that he's got that taken care of, and trust me, that was not a job left to the two of us. We have the tools, we have the service manual, but it was just beyond our comfort level. So he took it out to a shop and they took care of it in a few hours. So now we're on location in his garage to take a uh, uh, take a whack at his exhaust pipes. So his is a 98 Softail Custom. He's got the Vance and Hines long shots all the way out. Don't wrong, they sound great, especially with this Evo motor, but they are just stupid ear piercing loud so what he did is he went ahead and acquired some vance and hines big radius pipes that we're going to go ahead and try to get fitted on and from the sounds of things one of the biggest problems we're going to be facing right out the bat is if you can see that bolt right down there which should be an 8 mil or a 5 16 or somewhere in that ballpark is just in the worst possible location. I don't think he's got the right box wrench, but we're gonna root through his tools, see what we can find. Otherwise, we're gonna try to find a way to force that through. And then we've gotta to get to his head bolts in here, which should be the same as the head bolts on uh, the street glide that we did way back when. Uh, and same with the front, loosen up all the other heat shields. Uh, gotta get the slip-ons off with that bolt once we know the size on that, let you guys know. Oh, apparently that is a half inch bolt. So we'll get that loosened up. Same with the one just below it there. Likely another half inch for these four bolts down in here. And then go ahead and get the whole system off. And then we'll kind of dry fit that. I know he's got the new exhaust gasket, so we'll get those fitted in there because God only knows how long those have been in, so they might shred on the way out. But I'll try to fill you guys in on once we, we at least get this pulled off or maybe sooner, depending on... You know if i think about it but we'll do our best or i'll do my best see if i can't hold good on my promise of doing better for you guys so sit tight let's see if we can't start loosening stuff up and get it out of the way here all right exhaust off we did have one of those uh real men of genius moments that for those of you who know no we ended up just saying screw it to that heat shield bolt that was right up against the tranny cover here and just took it straight off the jugs and pop the whole thing off in one unit. Got it stacked over there. So no sense in dealing with tight places when we don't have to. And you know, it's kind of the exception to the rule, generally speaking in life. But uh, went ahead and take that off too. Yeah, we still gotta get this bracket off. Probably still the same half inch bolts there. But we did salvage the rings that we're gonna need. These were a bit tougher than the ones that I did on the street glide, you know, a year plus ago. But, you know, as with life, some pretty beefy dikes is all you need. So we got it done. So we'll save uh, that retaining ring. We'll save that bit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, torque cones, we were surprised to see were in there, but we will not be reusing those. So now we're going to go ahead and pull that and then start loosely fitting up the rest of the exhaust once we get our bracket out of the or our gasket there's out of no, the jug there's no gasket he's claiming no gasket that stick your finger in there curious. i believe you i'll like, put a flashlight on it i think the torque cones were acting as gasket intriguing investigations to follow hold on all right so as it turns out we did in fact actually have a couple of gaskets in there those torque cones that we saw here earlier truly were not the gaskets these are said gaskets. So now that those are off, we've already swapped out the bracket there. And let's see if I can careful here. There we go. He doesn't want his face. So he is working on plugging his bunghole because it's always important. Make sure you have a thoroughly plugged bunghole before they go back on. Because this is a 98, much like with my Springer, there's no O2 sensors on these older bikes. So you just gotta make sure you get something in there to seal that up. So, and I think right about there, he's got the new uh, exhaust gaskets. Yep, from Vance and Hines. 
I would say, if I can get that glare off, there's your part number, or there's your part number, or there's your part number, I, I don't know, somewhere in there. But, got two new gaskets, because there's no telling how long those ones have been in there, so we're gonna put some fresh ones in there. I think we figured out why you had a little bit of exhaust uh, decel popping, because those flange nuts were a little loose. So with any luck, new gaskets, thoroughly torqued uh, flange nuts on the exhaust, thoroughly plugged bung hole, should be no more popping. So we're gonna keep wrenching along and keep uh, thread locking everything because Evos and vibrations are a thing. And I'll see you guys in here shortly. All right, so fun fact, we're putting this uh, new, I think it's this front jug pipe together. I so said, these are the, this, the Vance and Hines, uh, I don't know, what what was it, where were they? Uh, not, not the twin short slash. Radius. Short radius, big radius, something. But he bought them in September and we just kind of been sitting on them. But I don't know if you're gonna see that, but down inside, there's still, or not still, but there's now a catalytic converter in there just on the other side of that baffle. So for those curious, those interested, Vance and Hines has converted. They are now doing catalytic converters, in case you didn't already know. Uh, tab Performance, for instance, they still don't give a damn. You just have to go to their performance side. And I'm sure there's other manufacturers that are still running uh, a catless system. But be aware that some of your new aftermarket pipes, if you're trying to get rid of the cat, these new these guys are now starting to have to carry a cat for EPA guidelines. So word to the wise, we're going to keep trucking along. All right, so front's on. We're using these, well, at least what we're choosing to call wishbones. I don't know what Vance and Hyde's call them, but that's what we're going to go ahead and call them. And it just, hey, hey, got a fresh shiny one. Look at that. So there's our alleged wishbone that is sliding in this little gap here with the bolts coming in from the back side. Did hit it with some Loctite. Nothing is tight. Things are barely even finger tight right now. If so we want to get everything mocked up and then we'll kind of slowly work our way forward, tightening things up so everything drops into place right where it ought to be without damaging any gaskets or anything like that. So he's you know, inserting his last bung hole or plugging his last bung hole. We'll get the rear on keep getting it mocked up and then we'll go through and start snugging these up. I mean, I mean, this is all still really loose all the way forward. Something to keep in mind, you know, you don't wanna to have to fight yourself later. Ask me how I know. Okay, so the rear pipe's on. Again, everything real loose. Before we go and put the heat shields on the lower parts, that right there, because that's all it is, it's just a shield. And that was definitely a soda that you heard get opened. But we're gonna go through and we're gonna snug everything up. We'll start back here with these bolts, snugging them up. Don't have any torque specs on them, so we're just gonna give it a couple of elbow popping ugga duggas, call it good. They are all Loctited. And then we'll come up to the, the flange here. And remember, it's real important for those who didn't catch the last videos, these get tightened up evenly. You don't wanna snug one down and then snug the other because then something can pinch and bind. So just make sure you know, half turn here, Half turn there, half, half, just till everything is snug and then, you know, uh, cinch it down. I'm sure there's a proper torque spec. I'm sure we can find it in his service manual, but we're just gonna go with the uh, the elbow wrench. So, and uh, we'll call that a day once. But before any of that, we're just gonna sit back. We're gonna judge this angle, you know, adjust accordingly. So that way the curvature is the same and then snug down and get the heat shields on, so. Four steps down, one step backwards, but still four steps down. So with any luck, the next one's going to be wiping down fingerprints, getting the heat shields on, then pulled it out of the garage out there so we can fire it up and hear it for what it is, not with a bunch of uh, echoing. So sit tight. All right, she's all buttoned up, seat on, bags on, and there's the pipes. So. I think it's a vast improvement over the long shots that he had on there. You know, sticking way out by the rear of the tire, uh, which were essentially uh, drag pipes. Uh, we've already done a, a quick start on this. 
you know, just kind of check it out because we couldn't help ourselves. But I'm I'm gonna do but I'm gonna do good here. I'm gonna let you guys hear what this actually sounds like. But I'm still a half loser because I didn't get the before after before shot. So one step at a time, you know. The idea is progress, not perfection. So I'm gonna get uh, my brother over here. He's gonna fire it up, and you guys are gonna get to hear how it sounds now with these uh, big radius pipes from Vance and Hines here. So, oh, here it comes. Let's back it up just a sco so we don't bomb out the mic. Oh, the joys of old Evos constant fine-tuning of breathers and whatnot. Alright. So. so, that's it. Like I said, I'm sorry I didn't get a, an audio of the, the original pipes, those long shots, but they were just ear-splittingly loud. They sounded like drag pipes, just, you know, 10 feet long out the back. So, but, uh, you know, if anybody's curious, these big radius pipes sound great on an Evo. It, it actually sounds like it should, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, he's, he's working on it. You know, LEDs, the new fuel catch, because his old ones would rattle. He's got the old uh, horn cover off my Street Glide. So, his bags, which I believe are original to the bike, which, you know, look... Yeah, they look good. A little, little old manish, but we're a Saddleman family, so he's got that Saddleman seat going on. I'm trying to convince him to lose that beer rack. So, but uh, that's it. I mean, I'm super jealous of that uh, that fender uh, guard thing he's got on top. But that's all I've got. So until next time, questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. I'll get back at you, and we'll catch you all next time. Later.